There you go, folks. That is Spirituality 101. What are you thinking about? So, our conscious thoughts are the tip of the iceberg of our consciousness. Our conscious thoughts are expressions of, symptoms of, elements of our consciousness as a totality. They are not the, the fullness of our consciousness by any means. They are the conscious part of our, our mind versus the um, vast subconscious. But they are very important clues as to what is going on throughout our consciousness um, as a whole. And coming to greater awareness of our thoughts is really the starting point for the spiritual path of coming to greater awareness of oneself, of greater consciousness, and to taking the reins of your existence, moving in the direction of mastery of your being, rather than being pushed and pulled around by your thoughts running away from you, and everything that, that uh, happens as a result of that, of our thoughts getting out of control and um, causing us to do various things in our lives because of course nothing we do happens without thoughts that preceded that action and so our thoughts obviously are not just a phenomenon going on in our head but they control our life to a great extent and so of course meditation is is that that basic fundamental act of taking a break from the daily routine of life and choosing to come to greater awareness of one's thoughts and one's consciousness in general and seeking to take charge of one's own mind in order to take charge of one's life to a much greater extent and to calm the thoughts, to organize the thoughts to preferably take a step back from the thought processes and find that place of being of awareness which is um, behind or beyond one's thoughts because as I understand it then um, our, our being which our being is consciousness first and foremost in its most natural original form is pure awareness without thoughts and that thought is a a limitation of consciousness a consciousness packet a thought is is consciousness in a in a condensed focused form which obviously obviously serves a very important purpose of allowing us to um, focus our our mind, our consciousness, consciousness, in order to perform various tasks and and also to come to greater understanding of ourselves. And so it is not the enemy; it is not evil, but it is um, a source of uh, limitation and of angst and anguish and and. Um, lack of peace of mind, especially when our thoughts are um, running constantly in circles without much uh, awareness of our own, without, without realizing it, without noticing more what, what you're thinking about and what you're focusing on. And um, it is basically a, a matter of laziness to allow one's thought processes to get away from oneself and allow yourself to be thinking about all this stuff that just doesn't matter to you, that doesn't relate to you, that doesn't pertain to you, that you have no control over, um, that already happened and so you can't change or, or it's not going to happen, um, so, so uh, stop 
expecting it or, or it's unlikely or, or whatever. So on, on one level it is about seeking to think less basically of, uh, of reining things in and becoming more, more focused into the moment and less carried away by one's thought processes and more um, just aware of and imbued in and focusing into this present moment of here I am on a Mexican beach with the sun shining on my face feeling the sand under my uh, legs here and a few ants running around which have bitten me um, and hearing the waves nearby and just really being here in this present moment as, as much as I possibly can instead of thinking about all the things that happened in the past that I wish had gone differently um, and all the things that I hope will happen in the future not that it is wrong to to um, come out of this present moment because we do know that something else exists beyond uh, this present moment even though the present moment is all that exists it is an ever-changing present moment and so I will not be sitting here in the sand on a Mexican beach with the sun shining on me forever things will change and I will get hungry and I will get tired and, and uh, something else will happen to happen have to happen as a result of those inevitable uh, um, circumstances arising in my life so um, being aware of, of something beyond this present moment is important but it isn't a balance between um, planning out your life, meeting your basic needs, reflecting on your past so that you can learn from your mistakes and all this and simultaneously being here now as much as you possibly can. Now uh, that's that's one element of this importance of um, asking yourself what are you thinking about so that you can have greater control over um, your thoughts and your, your mind and your consciousness. It is also a exercise in coming to greater awareness of what you're thinking about so that you know what is going on at various levels of your consciousness because our thoughts are not random. They are, they are part of our being and whatever we're thinking about, we're thinking about for a reason it is, it is not just, um, you know, random, nonsensical ridiculousness that doesn't relate to our life, even though much of it may seem that way, but we don't get on that train of thought without starting somewhere and without that leading in a certain direction for, for some reason or another. And as you come to greater awareness of your thoughts, then you come to a greater awareness of what is going on in your consciousness in total and your thoughts then can be very important clues about what is going on at deeper levels of your consciousness because um, one's conscious thoughts are only one part of one's consciousness as a totality. And so notice what you're thinking about and if you, if, if you keep thinking about this certain circumstance that happened in your life in the past, there's a reason. Your, your consciousness is, is hung up on that, is hooked on that, and just, just trying to wipe away those thoughts isn't going to solve the problem because the problem is deeper than that. There is something else going on at other levels of your, of your um, being that need to be addressed and healed and, and dealt with in some way. And so um, just, just telling yourself, stop thinking about that. I'm not thinking about that anymore. I'm, I'm moving on. It's over. It already happened. I don't care. It's, it's not going to help me in any way to obsess over or deliberate this in my mind or whatever, that, that doesn't work, quite simply. Um, certainly just, just meditation and seeking to be here in the moment as much as possible can be very helpful with something like that, but um, very likely there's, there's, there, there's, there's like a hook in you in such a way that you need to, you need to get down into the, um, the level of the consciousness at which that certain circumstance affected you and then work with it in some way that you unhook that basically from your being and how exactly to do that is, is kind of a whole nother 
topic for another video, but that's what various healing um, techniques are all about, is, um, you know, how to release trauma from your consciousness, how to heal the past, how to get beyond the stuff truly, so that your consciousness can be more um, focused in the present moment, more whole here now, instead of scattered throughout past and future. And so an important point to keep in mind about spirituality 101 and being more conscious of one's thought processes is that even though it is spirituality 101, it is not something that you simply practice for some period of time and then you move on to bigger, better, grander, more advanced, more complicated stuff. This definitely gets overlooked and uh, not prioritized enough in favor of more fancy, sexy, cool, interesting, mysterious, fantastical things from out-of-body experiences to exploring multiple dimensions to contacting angels to third eye openings to kundalini awakenings, aliens and, and uh, what is my starseed place of origin and what is my my uh, cosmic name and speaking in tongues and, and uh, you know languages from the Pleiades and whatever. Um, not that not that this stuff is bad, but uh, much much more important, much much more fundamental. And first is to focus on this concept of what is going through your mind right now and why. And, and figure it out and, and become aware of it and be more conscious of your consciousness and uh, allow that to be a guide for you of, of what you need to work on in your life. What are you, are you obsessed on, focusing on, whether it is a traumatic event in the past or worrying about your future? telling you about um, where your consciousness is really at so that you know where you need more attention, where you need um, real healing within yourself. Certainly there, there can be things that we aren't, that we aren't focused on enough and, and, the, and the thoughts aren't coming up, something that we blocked out from the past or something that we are in denial about. Um, not planning for our future, just thinking that it's all going to work itself out without our own effort or whatever. Uh, and so, um, you know, it's it's not as simplistic as just right now I'm thinking about this and therefore this is my problem or whatever. But becoming more aware of, of the thoughts is absolutely a doorway into greater awareness of your consciousness and greater mastery of your being so that you can begin living life more from a place of consciousness instead of unconsciousness or the subconscious to, to bring the subconscious self more into the conscious awareness so that you are truly more awake, more alive in this present moment with more of your being here now with you um, so that you are accessing and utilizing more parts of yourself as you go throughout your day, as you make your decisions as you focus your mind, as you relate with other people, rather than being in a state of being of um, being more unconscious, more subconscious. This idea of being more aware of one's thoughts is not something to practice simply in meditation. Absolutely, meditation is uh, one very important, powerful um, way of becoming more aware of, of, of one's uh, thought processes and, um, and one's mind, but this is, this is mindfulness um, beyond just meditation, which is being more aware of uh, one's thoughts and what is going through one's consciousness throughout the day, as opposed to just in the course of an hour or two of meditation set aside at, at specific times during the day. So a uh, very useful exercise then is to write that down somewhere. What are you thinking about 
whether it is in your journal or um, write it on a piece of paper and tape it to your mirror in the bathroom or your re refrigerator or wherever, somewhere that you're going to see it on a regular basis throughout the day as a constant reminder to yourself to remember, to notice. What are you thinking about? Is that a Spirituality 101?